Welcome to our video tutorial. This time we show you how to create animations. Besides single frame rendering and panoramic images, animations are a good way to present your planning. For example, you can simulate a walk through a scene you have designed or visualize a detailed view of individual objects or rooms. Here you can see a final planning in Pecan Planner which serves as base for our animation. Therefore we move to the Presentation tab and select Animation as Media Type. It will not be possible to select and edit objects in the design when the Animation tab is open. This means that you can fully concentrate on creating the animation and avoid accidental operations. In Pecan Planner we use editable positions which are connected with a blue line. There are two basic ways to create the animation. The circle animation on one hand uses automatically generated positions. On the other hand, you can create an individually drawn animation. Now we want to start creating such an individual animation. Therefore, we click New in the Animation menu and select an empty animation. An animation path is created by using positions. Clicking on the Add Position button enables you to start drawing. Waypoints are always set in two clicks. With the first click the camera position is determined. With the second click we set the viewing direction of the camera. The next position will be set the same way. Again we define the viewing direction. Now you can see a blue line between the first and the second camera that represents the camera movement. We have now accelerated the creation process. The procedure remains the same. It will be continued until we cancel it by pressing the escape key. When the path is finished, you will see the starting position being depicted as a square icon, while all other positions are symbolized as round icons. You can also specify any other point of the animation as starting position with a right click. It is possible to insert new positions between existing ones with one mouse click. If a position has been selected, its location and line of view can be modified using the red interactors. At this point we would like to give you a tip. You can set a camera or view to a previously created position in the animation. To do this, we select the position whose view is to be updated. Then we move the mouse to the workspace of the position which view we would like to transfer. With a right click, we open the context menu and select Apply View. This is how you can incorporate various previously set cameras in your animation. Using the Properties Editor, the characteristics of individual positions as well as the entire animation can be controlled. If the property editor is opened while no position is selected, you will see the properties of the animation as a whole. The interpolation property describes the path between individual positions. Depending on what you have set, the path will be computed as either straight, smooth or curved. The closed path option connects the last with the first position of the animation. Once we have selected a position, we can edit various properties such as gaze and target height, speed and pause. If fixed direction is set for a position, the line of sight is being kept until you reach the next position. After all properties have been set, we can now watch the animation in Pecan Planner. Simply click on the play button within the animation menu to start the animation. In the working area, animations are displayed in the animation view. In all other projections, the playback of the animation is visualized by a red moving point. Now that the creation of the animation is finished, we can choose to create either a series of images or video. For this, we open the presentation tab and select a video. Before a series of images or a video can be created, the individual images of the selected animation need to be rendered. There are various possible settings. They are almost exactly the same as those for single frames. 
We now select our animation and define the frames per second played in the animation. The values 24 or 30 FPS are well suited for a normal speed video. Furthermore, you can select the output format and profile. Finally, we click on the play button to start the rendering process. Please bear in mind that photorealistic animations may need substantial time to be rendered. Once the rendering of the animation has been completed, you can save it by clicking the Save As button in the image output window. You may choose between a video file in AV format or a series of images, for instance in PNG format. You can also add a logo in the image output window with its appropriate settings, just as it is possible for single frames. If saving the animation as a video, you have the option of selecting a compression method to reduce the video's file size. However, it must be noted that the compression method needs to be installed separately and is not part of Pecon Planner. To share or view the videos created, you can use our online presentation service Impress and include a video link in your presentation. Use animations to give your customers an even better impression of your room concept. Thank you for your attention.